Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anastasia and if you've seen my videos before, it tends to be a lot of vlogs, lifestyle, wellness, all that good stuff. Today is no different because I have so many things to do today simply because I am moving and I didn't think that I would be moving this summer, but I ended up deciding to live elsewhere so I am still trying to like transfer my lease and I have to move all my stuff. So I basically have to drive all the way to my apartment and finish up everything that I started there a few weeks ago. I'm honestly like not looking forward to going there today because I just don't want to, simply put. I would much rather just do something fun, but some things have to be done. The drive over there can range from like 30 minutes to an hour depending on traffic and the time of day, which is like another reason that I am dreading going there right now. But you know what, it's gonna be fun. We'll make the best out of it. My place is already pretty much packed, so there's not a lot left to do. I'm just gonna put up posters to like advertise my place. I have listed my place online. Since I'm still looking for someone to take over my lease, I'm going the old fashioned route and I have made a few flyers. So I'm gonna put them around campus, put them around town and then see if anyone snatches up this this is a very good deal. Honestly, it's not a good deal. The place is so expensive, which is why I'm moving out as well. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully someone takes it. That's not the only thing we're doing though, because I have a bunch of other like things to knock off of my to-do list because I just don't do them. You know, I put them on this list and then it disappears because it tends to be just like the back of our seat or some paper. But today is going to be super productive and we are going to get a lot of these things done. So that is something I'm looking forward to. Okay, so this is so off topic, but I just got my nails done like two days ago and I'm super excited because I don't ever really get acrylics because I don't like how it weakens your nails. But because my nails were already so wrecked, like if I get super anxious, like I just rip off my nails and it's not, it's not a cute look and it's not a good habit at all. But that's where we are. And I decided that, you know, since I can't really wreck them further, I might as well get acrylics and make them look nice. And I got these French tips and I just think they look so cute, but it's so weird for me to get used to them because I'm definitely like a short nail girly, but I'm feeling all fancy now. And I think that's gonna make me even more productive because I'm feeling cute. So I'm gonna stop talking now because I have things to do. Also, I think in order to be prepared for today, I need to smell delicious. So I'm using the Brazilian Crush perfume. It's so good, delicious. And honestly, I don't even know if it's called Brazilian Crush. I mean, it says that on there, so I'm just gonna go off that. But like last year, my sister bought this perfume and she like sprays it everywhere. And ever since then, I've just kind of been using hers, but I finally had the audacity to buy my own. I definitely just inhaled that, which was not delicious. I also think sunglasses behind, like putting your sunglasses up just gives you such a like, I'm ready for the day kind of look. So I think that's what I'm trying to embody here. I also realized that I've never introduced my dogs, but you have seen him in a bunch of my videos. So his name's Polo. The only thing that gets him going is food. So I had to tell him I was gonna give him a treat. Anyway. So that's Polo. We got him from Italy like five years ago, which is kind of weird to say because when we got him, he was still a puppy. But our other dog, her name is Pepper or Pepper Marie or Peppercorn or just Ronnie because like pepperoni. Anyway, her name can be whatever you want it to be. My family got her less than a year ago. That was around the time that I moved to college. So I think I was replaced by her, but that's okay because we all love her and she's great. She's just a little weird sometimes. Like she has weird habits. Like she'll sit on the stairs and stuff. Okay, so one dog down, the other one is disobedient, so I have to go chase after her. close to campus and like coffee shops and all those places where students are attracted to go there and hopefully call me. It is 3 p.m. so I think it's a little bit too late and I don't want to get caught in rush hour so we're gonna go to the Denver campuses instead. Here's the flyer that I made. I put a pretty font on it so that it looks all cute and stuff and then I added a few photos. Okay, so I wasn't able to put any of the posters on any campus 
because I didn't realize that it's Sunday and school isn't open on Sundays. Like sure it's summer, but it's the weekend. So I didn't really take that into consideration or anything, but I still managed to put them up on like coffee shops and other places like around the area. And on the way home, I also stopped by the mailbox again, which is really exciting because I have been awaiting this package for a couple of days now. So I thought we could open it together. This package here was sent to me by Sif Jacobs. Yeah, I've never done like an unboxing video or anything. So this is very new and exciting for me for sure. Just look at how pretty that is. I had to put my hair back because this is just too cute to be looking like a little rat. Like anytime I buy jewelry, it tends to be necklaces or earrings. So I wanted to go for something a little bit different this time. I'm definitely gonna be buying way more from Sif Jacobs in the future. Here's another look at it. I'm just so obsessed with it. Like look at how cute it is. Personally, I find it very difficult to be productive when I don't have anything visual to keep track of what I'm doing during the day. I love to write stuff in an agenda or in a planner just to like kind of have an overview of what I'm gonna be doing in the day, in the week, or like any appointments that I have pending. I finally got around to buying a new planner because I, it's something I've been putting off for a while. Not like on purpose, but simply because I keep forgetting. And finally, a few days ago, I went and I got this cute thing. I love how simple it is and I like that it's a very neutral like beige shade. I just think it's very classy and the new era, the new vibe that I'm going for here, which I really appreciate. I think I'm gonna rip this to symbolize it being used for reels now. I just opened this and I saw this sticker in here and I swear that wasn't in there before. I think my mom put it in there. Taking care of yourself is productive. And she didn't know I was filming this either. So this is kind of a big coincidence. You have the traditional like monthly setup. What I like is that you have the week on one side and then on the other side, you have all your tasks. So the way I see myself doing this is like, I've usually always been used to having like the days on both pages and then tasks within each day. But I think it's very nice to have it on one side because you can put like important appointments on that side. Then here you can keep like weekly tasks. And then if you don't do something one day, like if you don't do something Monday, it's not like it's gonna roll over on Tuesday. So I just think it's a lot more progressive that way. And I really don't like it when I have a task. I don't do something for one day and then it rolls over into the next day. This is a good outline for me. I'm just gonna take the time to write down things that I have going on this month, make sure I have all the important things written down i I feel good. I wrote down all the things that I have coming up soon. This week, next week, and then next month. At least it's on paper, which is a positive thing. Even though I still feel overwhelmed. You know, you would think this like makes you less overwhelmed. And in a way it does, but it also makes me realize how many things I have to do. I still have July and August before I start school. So logically, I do still have a lot of free time, but I still feel stressed out. And I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but I just feel like overwhelmed by Honestly, not much. Like now that I'm thinking about it and just like sorting it out, it's like not that many things, but I'm like hyperventilating inside. It actually like whenever I get in my head like this, it puts a halt on me getting things done, checking things off of that to-do list. If I just feel like too stressed out and I, it's too much right now, I think it's a good idea to go to the gym because you get out a bunch of endorphins and the sweat, I think it really gets my mind off of things. There's just something about going to the gym, listening to good music, exerting your muscles that makes you focus on the present. Like that mindfulness is something that I really like because I find it hard to do in my everyday life. That's why I have been going to the gym way more regularly, but it doesn't feel like I'm pushing myself per se because I wanna go, you know? It's not like I'm forcing myself to actually do this thing. I think it helps a lot with your mental health. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. It's a little bit later in the day. It's like four. So I am a little bit tired, but I do wanna go to the gym today because I'm trying to make it a habit of going every single day, unless I feel like I really need a rest day, but that's not, that's not necessary today. It's definitely an upper body day. I'm not sure if it's not back day, chest day for sure. So I'm just gonna wear these gray shorts that I recently thrifted and they are from Navigation. I've never tried like any other sportswear before but I really, really like these bottoms. They just make everything look good, in my opinion. And then the top my friend gave to me, it is thrifted though, and it's from TLF. And I haven't tried any of their sportswear either, but I really, really love this top. It's probably my favorite. And I just love how it holds 
everything together and like how it's so like delicately designed and everything the best part of it is probably the back it's just like a crisscross i'll show it to you this is what the back looks like it is really really pretty and i feel like it accentuates your back and just like it's really cute in my opinion also like how there's like a double strap on each side i think it's definitely like a very cute detail to a sports top because i feel like they always tend to be like very simple so i appreciate that this one is like very cute and very feminine Okay, welcome back to the bathroom again. I am so exhausted from the day, but it's not over yet. I was just about to hop in the shower and do my little routine and everything, but then I was like, what if I cut my hair? I have been debating this for probably a few months, and every time I'm like, no, I'm gonna let it grow. But like for the past few days, I've had this urge that I just should cut it. Anyhow, I just don't know what to do because I kind of want to do it, but it's like, am I just having an impulsive thought, basically? Or is this something I really want? Or is this gonna be something like when you cut your bangs because you're having because you're having a meltdown? You know what I mean? I'm just not sure that I'm gonna be totally in love with it if I do it. And I would love to hear your opinion, but the truth of the matter is that once this video is posted, a decision will have been made. Let's just see what we're dealing with. See, that's the thing. Like when I put my hair down, I'm like, it looks so nice. Maybe not. You know, I'm gonna say no right now, but I feel like it is something I'm gonna do in the very, very near future here. I have done a lot with my days. It's time to just chillax. time favorite mug as you can see i thrift a lot of things because i just feel like they're so unique and you always find stuff that like nobody else has like who thought of this you know like are you kidding it's a cute little foot mug with toes i hope you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up and or subscribe and stay tuned for another travel vlog coming in a few weeks because i'm leaving in a few days so it's going to take me some time to edit honestly i really hate outros or like ending the videos because it just feels so awkward and forced and like i don't even know what to say so we're just going to end it here